Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the second episode in my new series called Animal Answers, where I answer questions that I get the most often from you guys. I answer them here all in one video so that I can answer you all at once. If you enjoyed this episode of Animal Answers, be sure to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. So today's animal answer question is, is my hermit crab molting? Is it dead or is it just buried? So I have a few questions that you can ask yourself to see if your hermit crab is just molting, if it's dead or if it's buried. This is pertaining to people whose hermit crabs have gone under and they haven't seen them for any period of time, whether it be a few days, a few weeks, or a few months. So the first question to ask yourself to figuring out what your hermit crab is doing is how long have you had it? Did you just recently get the hermit crab and immediately it went and buried and you haven't seen it in a few days or a week? If so, there's a very good chance that your hermit crab may not be molting and it could just be scared or stressed out in a new environment. A lot of times a new hermit crab is very stressed out in a new environment, so if you just brought it home and it went down immediately and you haven't seen it come out to eat or drink or anything, then there's a very good chance that it's just stressed and it's probably not molting and you should see it resurface very soon. And in the off chance that it is molting, it should resurface in a few weeks. The main thing to remember with hermit crabs if they go missing is that if your setup is done properly and they have everything they need to thrive, not just survive, then they should resurface and they know what they're doing. And as long as you've done what you need to do, trust that they know what they're doing. The second question to ask yourself if you believe that your hermit crab could be dead is, do you smell anything? When your hermit crab passes away, you will know without a doubt. The stench is unbearable. It almost smells like dead fish. Dead hermit crabs smell very, very bad whenever their bodies start to decompose. So if you open your tank lid and take a whiff and you don't smell anything, then there's a very good chance that your hermit crab could be molting or just buried and not deceased. The third question that you can ask yourself is, has it molted recently? If you're familiar with your hermit crab and you've had it a while but it's been down for a couple weeks and you're not sure where it went, ask yourself has it molted recently? There are several really good indicators to know if your hermit crab has molted recently or if it's about to molt. You may see them hanging around the salt water dish a lot more as they're getting ready to shed their exoskeleton or you may have seen them resurface after being buried for a few weeks and they came up a much lighter color that's a very sure indicator that they possibly molted. Usually their exoskeleton and their claws and their legs are a much lighter color once they resurface after a molt. And of course, the most obvious way to know if they recently molted is if you see them out climbing around and while you're spot cleaning, you may happen to find a piece of their exoskeleton from their most recent shed. So if you've looked out for all of those indicators and you did have any of those happen, then there's a very likely chance that if your hermit crab recently molted, it's probably not molting again. They could just be buried because of stress. They could be buried because it's daylight outside and they do prefer to come out at nighttime or they could just be hiding. But again, as long as you don't smell anything, they're probably not dead. And the fourth and final question I would say to ask yourself is how long has it been buried? If your hermit crab has only been buried a couple days and you haven't seen it, I would definitely say just give it some time and see if it resurfaces in a week. Obviously, the entire time that it's buried, you should continue to replace its food and waters regularly and provide it plenty of different fruits and vegetables and proteins and both of its waters. Just in case it is coming up while you're asleep, it's still able to eat and drink like it would need. And if you haven't seen your hermit crab in several weeks, there's a very good chance it could be molting if you don't smell anything. Hermit crabs can take up to a month to molt, so they can go under and stay under for a very long time and not touch their food and water. And I know that it's hard to just sit and wait for a couple of weeks or a month while your hermit crab is under molting. But what you have to understand is that this is a very stressful time for your hermit crab. They are literally shedding their entire skin. So you obviously need to give them their time, their space, don't touch them, never dig them up, and never go searching for them unless you smell something. Obviously, if there is a very strong odor in the room that your tank is in or in the tank itself, it may be a good idea to just gently search around with your finger and make sure that your hermit crab hasn't passed away. But if you don't smell anything, I would seriously just relax, take some time, wait another week or even two, and see if your hermit crab has in fact molted and wait for it to resurface. I really hope that this video was helpful to you. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. The main thing 
to remember with hermit crabs is just to be patient. They are pretty much nocturnal, so you're not going to see them out a lot during the day. I know that I get tons of comments from people who are concerned about their crabs not coming out during the day, but the main thing to remember is that they know what they're doing. As long as you've provided them with everything they need and their setup is completely adequate with the proper substrates, both fresh water and salt water, dechlorinated of course, the proper fruits, vegetables, proteins, and foods and things that they need, as well as the proper substrate, humidity, and plenty of shells, then I would say that you definitely have nothing to worry about as long as you're doing all of those things. Just remain patient and hopefully your hermit crab will resurface soon. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and to anyone who is curious if their hermit crab was molting or buried or if it had passed away, I do hope this video helped you out. If you guys have any more questions you would like me to feature in an Animal Answers, be sure to let me know down below or on any of my other social media platforms. I do have Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and I'll put that on the screen for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.